In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front lower rearward control arm on this BMW 535i xDrive. It's going to be located behind the front wheels. Let's get into it. We're going to take the wheel off, use a 17 millimeter socket, take the lug bolts out. Before I take the last one out, I'm just going to hold the wheel on. That out and grab the wheel, slide it off. Underneath, we're gonna remove this nut. Just use a 24 millimeter socket, take that nut off. You can use a 24 millimeter wrench if you don't, can't get a socket on there. There's many different front end tools you can use to separate the ball joint from the knuckle. I'm gonna use a pickle fork, just get this lined up. that up and that's loose right there that's okay you need to access the bolts right here in the way is this cover so we're going to remove the cover use an eight millimeter socket take these bolts out just go along underneath should be one right there along. There's still a nut over here. Before we take that nut off, we're going to loosen up the screws up here. Just loosen this up. Phillips head screwdriver. And then over on this side as well. That's good. And back here, we're going to take this nut off, use a 10 millimeter socket, take that off, then this shield will come down, pull that out. With that panel off, you can see, you can just push this to the side, you can access that bolt. Use an 18 millimeter socket on the bolt. On the other side, there's a nut, use an 18 millimeter wrench. Just watch out, be careful that it doesn't swing down as you loosen it up. There we go. It's loose. Let's take this bolt out. There's the bolt. There's the arm. There's the nut. Now I'll take the arm, slide it in place, put the bolt in, get the nut started. the arm in place. There we go. Put the nut on. And I'm just going to put a pole jack underneath just to put a little tension on the ball joint stud. It's going to help tighten this nut down. And I'll tighten this down. Just using a wrench this time. And if the stud spins, you can use a hex key, a six millimeter hex key. That's gonna hold the stud from spinning. Snug that down. And now we'll torque the lower ball joint to 59 foot pounds. Now we're gonna raise the suspension slightly. We're just using the pole jack you want to get this as close to ride height as possible. Just keep in mind being safe. You don't want to have the car be unstable on the lift if you're on a lift. It's safe right there. You want this as close to ride height as possible to tighten this down. It would be ideal if you could put the wheel on and torque this on the ground, but it's not the easiest thing to get a torque wrench on this bolt while you're underneath the vehicle on the ground. Now we're gonna tighten this down. Use an 18 millimeter wrench, 18 millimeter socket. Snug that down first and we'll torque this to 74 foot pounds. That's good. And lower the pole jack. Now raise the shield in place. Get 
underneath the front shield. Find the stud in the back, get that lined up, put that nut on. It's gonna hold it in place. Phillips head screwdriver, just get these started. Take all the little screws and get those all started. Once you get them all started, then we'll start tightening those down. Should be on there. And there should be more on the side. And we'll just tighten those up. Snug that down. Now we're going to install the wheel, line the wheel up, take the lug bolt, get that started, snug that down, put the other bolts in, and snug those down. Now we're going to torque the lug bolts down to 90 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Go around again, double check. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.